In the previous section, I covered how to create a new EDI partner, category, protocol, and went over the EDI message mapping. In this section, I will continue with the flow definition and go over the associations. After the EDI message mapping has been created, the next thing to do is to upload the XSD files. The EDI upload XSD file is used to upload all the schema files received from the partner to validate the structure and definition of these files in the XML format. For this demonstration, I will be working with Chorus. To demonstrate, I will be using the schema file examples Chorus that are found in the seed folder under EDI flow definition EDI upload XSD file and there are several of the chorus files that I will be using. Next, I will create the EDI XML file which is found under EDI flow definition EDI XML files and this file is used to define the format of the XML file being used. Since this is a demonstration presentation and I don't have a file from an EDI partner, I'm going to duplicate the file that already found in the seed folder. I'm going to be choosing chorus and I will create one by clicking on the three dots. Click duplicate then in the new record I'm going to look for the mapping that I created previously which is called NA EDI. The version is number one. The file standard is going to be FL1 for XML file format and for the description I'm just going to use uh, like add the message mapping ID and EDI that way it's going to be easy for me to identify it and also use my two initials as well. Once that is done I will scroll down and notice there are 13 results for the 13 files that are used to generate an, a sales invoice using the chorus files. I'm going to click duplicate and wait for it to finish. Once the creation is done, I should get a message saying duplication successful and it gives the new name that created. Once that is done, I'm going to go back to EDI, flow definition EDI XML files and I have to make sure that my NA EDI has been created but notice that it is still not valid. Now that the NA EDI XML file has been created, the next thing I have to do is to click on the edit pencil. Have to make sure that the message mapping ID is correct. Uh, all the XSD files are listed here. I have the representation, uh, the representation listed here and the instance name is sales invoice and the direction is going to be outbound. Here's the file name, here's the file name definition how it's going to look like when the file is generated. Then these are the fields with their identifier that are going to link back to the XML file. Then uh, once that is verified I'm going to have to first generate these files 
and you can see it's working here then once the generation is complete notice that uh, there is a message saying the generation of the XML path was completed successfully also notice that the valid box is checked now so I'm gonna have to save well, that's a normal message click OK to that and then my XML file has been created if I go back if I click on the list and I go back to my XML files notice that my NA EDI has been valid is, is valid and the next thing has to be done is to do the flow definition after the EDI message mapping and EDI XML file have been created next I have to create the EDI flow which it combines uh, the partner category message mapping all together to generate the XML file so I'm going to click EDI flow which is found under EDI flow definition I'm going to copy from Chorus by clicking the three dots then select duplicate my new flow ID is going to be an EDI the version is one and for the description I'm just going to add an EDI and my initials click duplicate then I can tell it's successful according to this message I'm going to go back to EDI EDI flow and I'm gonna filter by send to make the list shorter I can see my NA EDI but as you notice it's it is not valid yet and it's not active I'm going to edit here I have to do some changes because my EDI partner is not chorus it should be an A EDI my category is the same an A EDI the protocol is already populated it is the action is on send I need to add the flow detail here I have to select the message mapping that I already created the version is one the message file format is not sequential it's XML and the file standard is XML and I'm not using signatures okay next once that is done I'm going to save and as you can see it's valid here but it's still not active I'm going to click edit active save and I can tell now the EDI flow is valid is active if I go back to the list I can see my NA EDI is valid and it's active as well once the message mapping and flow setup are complete the next section I'm going to cover is associations I need to associate the EDI partner with a site and or a company then I need to associate them with a business partner address that is defined in Sage X3 I will be creating associations between an EDI partner and a Sage X3 user site an EDI partner and a user company an EDI partner and a business partner address and finally I will create a link between these associations to identify the parties involved by creating an EDI flow by BP slash company in EDI associations I'm going to start by creating an EDI partners slash company I'm going to click create the company I'm going to be using is 
and A, 10. I'm going to look up my EDI partner that I created previously, which is NA EDI. For the identification type, I'm going to use free and I'm going to enter an EDI code. In this case, I'm just going to create, enter 000123. I'm not using signatures and I'm going to save. When I go back to the list, I can see that my NA EDI for NA EDI partner has been created and it's valid. The next thing I'm going to do is to create an EDI partners slash by site. I'm going to click create. The site I'm going to use is NA012. The EDI partner is going to be NA EDI. The identification type is free and I'm going to use the same EDI code which is 000123. Once that is done, I'm going to save. I'm going to go back to the list and I can see that my site NA012 has been created for the partner NA EDI and it is valid. The next thing I'm going to do is to associate a BP address declared in Sage X3 with the EDI partner. In EDI under associations, I'm going to click EDI partners slash BP. I'm going to click create. The business partner I'm going to use is NA009. The address is corp, corporate office. The EDI partner is NA EDI. The identification type is free and I'm going to use the same code. I'm going to leave the operating site blank and I'm going to save. Once that is saved, I'm going to go back to the list, look for my NA009 partner for NA EDI and I can see it's valid. After I identified all the parties that are going to be involved in an exchange, now I need to define a flow that is authorized among these parties. This can be accomplished by creating an EDI flow by BP slash company. I'm going to click create. For the business partner, I'm going to use NA009. The company is NA10. The EDI partner, I'm going to look it up from the list, which is NA EDI. In the flow block, under the details, I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to look up the category code that I created previously, which is NA EDI. I can see that the category type is sales invoice, the action is sent, the action on create. Then the flow ID is NA EDI, version is 1. I'm going to save, go back to the list, look up my BP, NA009, and I can see my NA009 for the NA company with NA EDI partner and it's valid. Now that the EDI setup is complete, I'm going to go back to the EDI partner to review all the entries I have made and make sure everything is active and valid. So I'm going to browse to EDI EDI setup, EDI setup, then EDI partners. I'm going to select the EDI partner that I created, NA EDI. Here is the code for an ED, NA EDI. It's active. 
I can see my category assigned to it. I can see the company that I created previously, an A10, it's valid. The site is an A012 and it's valid as well. The business partner, an A009. I have the business partner by company, an A10 for site, an A012 for partner, an A009. And finally, I have the flow that is valid and active.